Last time I came up here, there was two and a half feet of snow and I couldn't even get in the driveway. Now all the snow is gone. It's been a few months, it's been a long time. It's always interesting to come back. I'm always worried about what I'll find. Have the bears completely destroyed my grill? Have thieves messed with my property? I have lots of projects to do. Mushrooms are out. And of course the chores never end. Well, everything looks okay. Good morning, everybody. I made it up to the property last night, got some things set up. And you may notice that I don't have the van with. Well, I was loading up the van and I checked the fluids and the antifreeze was low, so I filled it and it poured right out of the bottom of the van. Apparently, I have a leak in the uh, heater lines that run to the heater in the back of the van and that is supplied by hot antifreeze which is then blown through the heater so there's a hole in that and I couldn't drive the van without the antifreeze because that would just blow up the engine so I have Suba, Suba Steve and it's not ideal but those were my accommodations last night I slept in the back of him there was plenty of room. The only thing that I wish I had done differently was to put a mat down because my hips are a little sore just from sleeping on the hard surface of the, the car. So we've got lots of projects to do and maybe some playing to do. I'd like to finish up the outhouse this trip, maybe do a little fishing, look for some mushrooms, some general camp cleanup, and also um, I want to maybe start working on a woodshed, which that's a pretty ambitious schedule for two days, but we're just going to do a little bit here and a little bit there. Well, I'm making some lunch. I'm gonna try these buffalo beans. I've never tried them before, but they sounded kind of good. And I'm gonna throw some venison steaks on the grill. I was gonna use the kayak for a little fishing today, and I went to check it out. And I always check it just to make sure there's no raccoons or mice or anything in it. And unfortunately, I found this. That is a little flycatcher nest. And I've been seeing them work all over the yard all day. Let's see if there's anything in it. I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't want to stick my face in there. Is there anything in there? So now I can't use the kayak for a couple months until the babies are able to fly and move out of the nest. I'll have to bring my other kayak up, I guess. I should probably build some bird houses. I did put some bluebird boxes up for the chickadees and stuff. But I probably should build some nesting platforms for robins and flycatchers and whatnot. Got to take care of my birdies. I've got the outhouse pretty much finished up. I didn't get a lot else done. I've pretty much been working on that all day. I did get some current plants planted. I didn't get the apple trees planted yet because I'm kind of still undecisive about where they're going to go. 
So it's starting to get dark. I still have a ton of things I need to do. I need to saw up some those, that big tree I cut down this winter. I need to clean up a bunch of junk piles. But I think it's time for a beer and a bonfire. Priorities. So I've wrapped this egg up in this foil and we're gonna hang this over the rim of the bonfire and see if we can cook this with minimal utensils. Might fail, might work. Let's find out. All right, so I've broken the egg out and it's pretty hot, but I'm gonna take the shell out. So clearly it's cooked. So it's not perfect, but I don't know. Most of the whites <clears throat> kind of exploded in the aluminum, but for the most part. Mm. It was good. I bought four apple trees that I'm planting and there's zone two and three. It looks like I gotta plant them 20 feet, 15 feet apart. So you can see where I've got the first one over there by my coat and I'm just gonna alternate them on the trail. I got pretty lucky with these fence posts. One of my best friends, Kyle, gifted these to me after he no longer had a use for them. So I'm pretty appreciative of that. 
and as you can see, they're going for a good use. All right, I'm gonna tie these trees off and put something around them. I don't know if I'm gonna put uh, snow fence or hardware cloth or wire mesh or, I haven't decided yet. Hopefully there'll be something left of these trees the next time I come up, but I don't have high hopes. I realize how stupid this looks, right? But if you think about bud capping, you wanna protect the buds. Now, I don't know if I'm just gonna kill them because I'm covering them, but the most important ones to me are the central leaders. But even if they cut them back a little bit, I still want those main stalks. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if maybe birch trees will actually kill apple trees. I have no idea. This is a complete experiment. All I know is I don't have the proper stuff up here this time to adequately protect these trees. And I really just don't wanna come back and have them down to nubs, just completely destroyed by the deer. So I'm just grasping at straws here. And if it works, call me a genius. If it fails, well, call it expected, but it's worth a shot. Oh, I got a rut. Of course. There we go. And I hit a rock, of course. <gasps> Seriously? There we go. Now we got a chance. So I don't have my post hole pounder with me, so I'm gonna have to set these next time I come up, but yeah, I got rocks everywhere. Ah, oh, shoot. There we go, this one's gonna go. There we go. That'll work for now. We'll set it when I bring the post hole pounder up. I'm out just walking the woods looking for anything of interest and look what I found. See it? Nice. Normally the boy waits for me by the driveway every night, the hunter's outside, so. I'm guessing he will hear the car and come running to see me. What is Hunter doing? Hunter is shooting a bow. And Ben is shooting a bow. And where is my dog? There's my dog. Let's see what he does when he sees me. I can hear him whimpering. Well, what are you doing, River? Are you crying? Did you miss your papa, huh? Did you miss your daddy? Hello, how are you? 